Oh, well, hang on a second. What about Theresa May? <laughs> Theresa May today has managed to rail, get her e Brexit deal, but she's got it to the cabinet, many of whom will oppose it, but because of cabinet responsibility, will follow it through. And she's now going to write, go to an EU Br a Brussels summit and then have to railroad it through Parliament. Is she an autocratic leader? Is Bearing she... in mind her majority is non-existent. I, I would go one step further. So is she a positive autocrat? Is she? I, you tell me. No, you well, are. Let's ask the House. All right. <laughs> so let's go through. Ah, right. Here we go. Let's go through some world leaders, shall we? Go ahead. Donald Trump. Uh, we'll give you th hands up for positive autocrat. <laughs> hands up for strong leader. You see? He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's, he's, a, he's, he's not a strong leader. He's a bully. Hands up for bully. <laughs> All right. Let's try someone. The prime minister. Go on. The Malaysian Prime Minister, the current Prime Minister. Just to make sure I've got my ticket out of the country. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's ask I'm, the same question. Right. I, I'm, gonna, I'm going to. And the reason why we're doing this in this way is because you can't make an omelette without breaking eggs. And you can have all, you, you, know, uh, you can have all these theories till the cows come home. But unless you put it into practice in real life, it is just a very nice afternoon in a theater in Kuala Lumpur. That's right. So, the Prime Minister. <laughs> all those who say he is a positive autocrat. All right, all those who say he has crossed the line. All those who say their view of his positive autocracy is different now than it was when he was in office before. Explain that. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't in Malaysia when he was... <laughs> <laughs> That's an unfair question. I wasn't in Malaysia at that time. <laughs>